Hello folks, welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I have uploaded, so apologies for that inconsistency. I've recently been sick, and I've been trying to catch up on assignments in school. Um, good news, I have already done that, so that is taken care of. Now, I want to move on to the new update that was just recently released. This new update is improvements to model level of detail, or known as LODs. In game development, we use LODs, I mean, discussion and like, building things, a lot. It's also a lot of issues such as render distance, because it would look bad. For example, see that? These buildings, they're not meant to be like that. So this is a before and after. You see there's actual windows, there's actual leaves over here. So pay attention over here, right? Actually, pay attention to this. See, it's all these like weird colors. But then it's now different. And pay attention to this building right here. It looks a lot different. You can definitely tell. So, it says, Hi developers, we are excited to announce that our upgraded model LOD has shipped. The upgrade involves increasing model LOD re resolution and capturing the model's shape and color more accurately, resulting in improved quality. So, a lot of games on the market already, you know, don't have much of that issue. So, that's why I want to say, so it's an improvement for Roblox, not just in general gaming standards. This has been like a thing for a while. Moving on. How to enable Model LOD. Model LOD allows experiences that have enabled streaming to have better visual quality for models that haven't yet been streamed to the client. Without Model LOD, when a model... Wait, without model, model LOD, when a model with its parts is outside the streamed area and not present on the client... What the heck? Sorry, this I think was worded wrong. Nothing will be rendered for the model and will be invisible. So, if you guys want to read this part really quick, I'll, I'll zoom in. Sorry, I had trouble reading that. That was weird. Without model LOD, when a model with its parts is outside the streamed area and not present on the client, nothing will be rendered for the model, and it will be invisible. There we go. With model LOD, a reduced resolution imposter mesh will be used for rendering. Model LOD is implemented on a per model basis. I do not know. I do not know what that is. Um. By the way, I will say this. Well, hold on, I'll finish reading. And the feature can be enabled by... And then, yeah. I'll go over that. So, what I first want to initially say is that I don't really work with model level of detail. I'm glad that they're adding this. I saw that streaming and, like, streaming enabled and, like, this level of detail and stuff, but I didn't really see much change only in like actual meshes for example I will show you in studio um we'll go with this we'll go with this okay there we go by render fidelity performance or precise precise is where you could see it farther I'll go to performance. Sometimes you'll see a change, sometimes you won't. I don't notice it right now. But for example, for like bigger objects or, I don't know, probably more detailed ones with higher polys, you'll see a difference. I've seen it before, for example, in like trees and plants. I have seen that work. Note, it uses a lot more resources when you use this feature um like 
what I mean is that it will use more resources and could potentially cause lag. So less level of detail farther away is better for players that don't have the best computer. Sure, they could have like a decent PC, but still. All right. Model LOD is implemented on a per model basis and the feature can be enabled by one, checking streaming enabled under workspace, under workspace property, then the streaming. And then here you go. Set level of detail property to streaming mesh for a model to generate LOD data. Um, I've seen this before. This has been in like studio for like a while now. Again, this was like just posted today. So if there's any bugs or anything, this is, this was just shipped in. So as I said from my previous videos, expect stuff like that to happen. And then there's stuff with like another um, thing about a script. So if you want to read this, you can. It's actually, if you go onto Roblox Studio, go on here, notifications tab, in, in, in an actual place or on the menu, it's right here. So when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's what I thought was interesting, and I, and I figured, hey, why not make a video on it? I haven't made a video in a while, and good practice with uh, speaking and stuff like that. So, anyways, that concludes this. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comments below. If you would, if you'd like, again, I'm probably not gonna be able to answer most of them since I don't even know what most of this is. I know what level of detail is and stuff and how sort of stuff like that and how it works. Um. I've used that terminology before in a sentence, and I know what it is, so I have some familiarization, and I've seen it work in games. So I, I know what it is, but to enable stuff or whatever code, I am not literate on that. If you want to ask anything, you could go onto the forum page and ask you know, the community, and... Whoever made the topic will re either reply to you or someone else will. Anyways, that concludes this video. I hope you all, you all enjoy, enjoyed. Thank you for watching.